Hello, I am uh, Didier Stevens, a senior analyst uh, with Enviso, and here I want to show you uh, a feature of PowerPoint that has been uh, abused in uh, malicious documents. So I have two uh, proof of concept uh, documents here, PowerPoint uh, documents. So let's look at the uh, properties. So this one here is a Microsoft PowerPoint slideshow, so PPSX, the extension. So that is a, a PowerPoint presentation. And when you open this uh, PowerPoint presentation, PowerPoint will be opened directly in a presentation mode, not in a editing mode. And as you can see here below, there is uh, no Markov web. Uh, so there is no alternate data stream with Zona identifier that uh, tells uh, Windows that this file originated from the internet. So that is not the case here. While the second file here is, is just a copy of this proof of concept file. But if we look at the properties, it has a Markov web. And so it has a zone identifier that indicates that this file comes from the internet. So and I'm going to show you how both files uh, behave. A and it is important uh, to look at uh, the result of both. Um, because in a normal situation, when this malicious document is delivered by email, it will be with the Markov web. Okay. And in the background here, I also have a process explorer running so that I can uh, show you the uh, different processes and the uh, parent child relationships. So let's start with the proof of concept PowerPoint document without um, Markov web. So I will double click it to open it like this. So I have the proof of concept document open here in uh, presentation mode in uh, PowerPoint. And now I am going to move my cursor here over uh, the hover text and this will uh, launch a command, but we will first get uh, this kind of alert. So let's move over here. Okay, so we have this alert and that it wants to execute a command. We can uh, disable this or enable this. So here, for uh, sake of the proof of concept, I will enable it. And then as you can see here, cmd.exe uh, is launched. If we go take a look with uh, sysinternals process explorer, we can here see PowerPoint that launched uh, command.exe. Okay, so let's close this. Let me close the command line. And now let's do the same, but with the second document. And this is the same document as the first document, but this one is a mar has a Markov web. So this is what actual users will uh, encounter. They will receive this document via email, save it to disk to open it, and then it will be marked with a Markov web. And so there will be an alternate data stream with a zone identifier. So I double click to open it. So here again, I have document and now I will move the mouse, mouse cursor to the hover. So I will not click on it, just move over it. And here you can see that no, nothing happens. And that is because the document here is opened with uh, Markov web. So it is actually in protected view. So let me show you this with uh, process explorer. So if we take Process Explorer, you can see here PowerPoint with the child uh, processor is also PowerPoint. And this is actually the sandbox at uh, the protected view. So you know by seeing this, not a single PowerPoint, but two PowerPoint processes, you know that the presentation here is in a protected view. And in protected view, uh, this uh, exploit trick, uh, it's actually non exploit it's a feature, but this trick to execute code by hovering the mouse over a cursor here, it doesn't work. So let's close this. Okay. So this was uh, our proof of concept. Uh, thank you for watching.